everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. So today's declutter is lip glosses and liquid lipstick type things and also um, lip liners. And then I, I also decluttered some of my, okay, I don't know how to store the like Too Faced Melted lipsticks and stuff like that. So I went through all my tube kind of lip products and I just took y'all along with me. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I still have so much more makeup to declutter, but I'm doing it slowly, you know, as makeup addicts, it's like a process for me. So I just, I get so overwhelmed and disgusted with how much stuff I have. So I was in the purge mode. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here is all of my lip glosses, my like chubby, chubby sticks, lip glosses. And then I didn't know really where to put these type products like the soft matte lip creams or the Dior fluid sticks or kind of long wearing lip gloss type things. So those are going to be in their own section. My goal is to try to get all of this in one Muji drawer. Now I did go ahead and count and right here for lip glosses. I have 42. Now I also have five mini lip glosses and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of those all together. There's five of them right there. I think the only one I've used was this Urban Decay one. The other ones have not been opened or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and my puppy is back there screaming. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. We'll just put the get rid of stack right there. And let's go ahead and get started with, oh, I also want to go through my lip liners as well. Okay, he wants to help. So he's going to sit in my lap. Um, so let's get started with, let's try to narrow down some of these jumbo crayons here. So I could get rid of this hard candy one. You know, I know the ones I love. I love the Revlon Color Burst. I'm obsessed with these. The Kissable Balm Stains. I know that I love those. Um, I know that I love the Tarte ones a lot. So I want to keep the Tarte ones. You're okay. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting these over here in the container and I'll show you that at the very end of the video. And then the other ones that I love, I love these NYX long wear, what are they? The matte lip colors. So I'm keeping those for sure. I have three of those. Actually, I have two in the color natural. So I'm gonna get rid of one of the natural ones. And then, I like these ColourPop lippy sticks. They're just both of them on two separate orders. I got Bichette and Lemire. They're both faulty packaging, but they're so new. So I don't really want to get rid of those just yet. And then of course I'm going to keep my Bite Beauty lipsticks. They're, they're lip pencils because I love these. I got these in a set and I'm obsessed with them. So these are the ones we have left. Okay, this lilac is a really fun one. It's a really fun color and very unique to my collection. So I'm going to keep that. Gosh. And then uh, this Too Faced Bee Sting thing, it seriously legit burns my lips. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of these two look I don't even know what it says I liked them I might have only swatched them to be honest I got them in the subscription box and then this is another this these two are both this is a wet and wild balm stain and a Jordana balm stain I like these but I have a Tarte one this color and a Revlon one this color so I'm gonna let those go uh, this Be A Bombshell is gorgeous. I don't even know that I've worn this yet. So I'm going to keep this. And then my puppy is so unhappy right now. Seriously. 
And then this is the Urban Decay Super Saturated Lip Thing. And this is beautiful. I cannot get rid of that. So, as far as the balm stains, I got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then five mini lip glosses so far. So, let's go to this next section, which is, I didn't know where to put this stuff. This is like my Too Faced Melted Lipsticks that I'm not going to get rid of any of these. I have three of these. So, definitely keeping these. And then there, it's also my, my OCC Lip Tars. I'm going to think about these. So just give me a second. This is a NARS um, Chelsea Girls. Not getting rid of. But I don't know how to store that yet. Now these are the LA Girls Glazed Lip Paints. I love these so much. Honestly, I don't know if I can get rid of any of these, you guys. I think I like them more than the lip tars. So I think I'm going to get rid of the lip tars and get rid of these two. This is, I, I haven't even used either one of these. So I'm going to give these to my sister and then I'm going to keep these glazed lip paints because I love them so much. So in that drawer, I just have the melted and the lip paints. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about these. These are long wear, like the matte lip creams from NYX, which I love, but I've found some products that I like more. So I'm going to get rid of those. And then, um, of course, I'm going to keep my Dior lip, whatever these were called, Dior fluid sticks. I'm keeping those. I'm going to keep this YSL one, although it's not my favorite. But it is long wearing. I just don't like the smell of that. This is my new obsession. The YSL tint and balms. So I'm keeping that. I stinking love. This is my favorite long wear lipstick I've ever tried. And it's by Bourgeois. It's the Rouge, Rouge Edition Velvet. That's the color of velvet. It's amazing. So I'm keeping that. And I'm keeping my Sephora Longwear Luster Matte and Fig. Also, I'm going to keep this new Laura Mercier because I literally just got that. Um, this is going to be where it's tough. Okay. So, whew, I don't know what to do here. Because I kind of want to keep all of these. None of them are expired. And I have room for all of them. So, I think I'm going to keep all of these. I know. I know. Do I have room for all of them? I do. Okay, so that works. Now let's move on to glosses because this is the majority of this collection here. So I'm going to go ahead right off the bat and take out things that I'm, I know I'm not going to really use. I've had these Stila Stay All Day lipsticks or lip glosses for a really long time. I say really long. I've probably had them for like a year, but I just don't use them very often. So I'm going to get rid of those. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of any of my Buxom lip glosses because they're one of my favorite kind of lip glosses, to be honest. Do I have any more? Yes. I bought these in a set. like they're, So they're kind of minis, but I love them so much. I do have a full size. I think I have another full size. No, maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to keep all my Buxoms. This is a Gloss and Love that I'm obsessed with. This Smashbox in Pout is amazing over lipsticks if you kind of just want to tone it down a little bit. So I'm going to keep... Oh, I do have another full size. It's actually almost gone. But that's another Buxom. Um, so let's see. I'm going to keep these two for sure. And let's see if I have any smaller ones that can go on top. Okay, let's really think about this. I love these color elixirs. So, look, I found another freaking Buxom. I have so many of those Buxoms. Are there any more? No. But, let's see. These Maybelline color elixirs, I'm going to keep as well as this NARS one. I just like the formula of both of those glosses. And then, what else? 
Okay, this is where it's going to get hard. I have one more drawer and a lot of more lips products. So I know I'm going to keep these two. I know I'm going to keep Rags to Riches. My Dazzle glasses, I stinking love. I love this It Vitality lip gloss. And all really all of my MAC lip glosses I want to keep. Um, and then all of my NYX lip glosses I want to keep. And then, so this is like coming down to the nitty gritty here. I, this is one of my favorite lip glosses. Laura Gellish City Lights. And then the new Lip Lavas, which I have two. So I have no idea where the other one is. So I'm keeping that. Here's another MAC. Although... I think I might get rid of this MAC one. This is NARS Turkish Delight. This is so hard because I love this Marc Jacobs and this Butter London one. So, let's see if I can make these fit, you guys. I can. And I have a little bit of room to grow in that drawer. So, Jouer. This is a Physicians Formula one that I really liked, but I'm going to get rid of that one. This is a Mini NARS in the color Angelica, I believe. I think I'm going to get rid of that NARS one and the Benefit. I hated this Sienna one, Sienna, that I got at the makeup show. And I think I'm going to keep both of these, the Jouer and the Max Factor, because they're really, really nice. So, there that is. Oh, I have one left. It's the Smashbox. Oh, what is this? I don't know. I got it in a swag bag. So, let's see. I can probably make that fit right there. Yay! So, let's see what I got rid of. So, I got rid of all five of my mini glosses. So, that leaves me with zero mini glosses. I got rid of eight lip glosses. So, that leaves me with 34 instead of 42. And then I got rid of, what are these, lip crayons. I had 24 and I got rid of 7. So that leaves me 17. And then these kind of tube-like products here, I got rid of 4 of those. That leaves me with 9. And then the long wear lip creams, I got rid of the two Mac, or NYX ones. So I had, what did I have? I had uh, 15, so now I have 13. So there that is. I have 21 lip liners, and this is going to be hard. Let's see. I know, okay, these Essence liners I don't really love. So, and I know I have a few of these. So let me get these out of the stack because I can go ahead and get rid of these. So there's four there that I'm going to get rid of. And then I love the e.l.f. one, I love the Laura Mercier, all of my MAC lip liners are definitely not going anywhere because I'm obsessed with them. Um, and look, I only have, do I only have four MAC lip liners? I'm missing Whirl, which is my favorite. I have no idea, that's probably in my purse or something. So I'm keeping those, and then... I think I'm going to get rid of this NYX one because I, I, I've never used it. And then this is a NYX. This is a NYX. And this is just a really funky color. I'm going to get rid of that one. I didn't know where what category to put this Buxom Lip Foundation in, but I am going to keep that one. And then this ColourPop. This is probably my favorite thing from the ColourPop line is their lip liners in Bichette. I love that one. And what else do we have? Okay, so I have a couple of Jordana ones that I'm definitely keeping. I think they're the best at the drugstore. And my Urban Decay, I love and obsessed with. I have another one. I'm telling you guys, I'm missing a couple of lip liners. So here is Dolly Pink which I'm going to keep that. Oh my gosh, I'm not doing good at this. I, I'm actually going to keep all the rest of these. So I got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six lip liners here. And so that leaves me with 15. 
So I started with 21. So I'm going to get rid of those. So I will be back and show you guys how the collection looks now that I've kind of decluttered. And there's the overview. If you missed my lipstick declutter video, I will link it in the description box. I did put my lip liners back there in the back. And then here is the new lip gloss. So up here I have my jumbo pencils. And then the next row I have my melted and my glazed lip paints. The next drawer starts well, this is actually the long wear, like kind of lip lip gloss, long, long wearing lip glosses. There we go. And then the next two are just glosses. So I have my buxom ones and then a few random ones back there. And the last drawer, it's just complete random glosses that I love. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys in my lipstick declutter, I didn't know what I was going to do with the minis because they wouldn't fit in this. So I decided just to keep all of my minis in this little container. And all of my MAC lipsticks did fit in this. And I have a little bit of room to grow right there. And then I moved my Tarte Amazonian ones over to this storage because they stuck out too far in this Zara Beauty storage. So... That is what it looks like now. So much more organized and I just like that it's all put together in one place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part of this declutter series. Let me know what you want to see next. I think I'm going to put up my single eyeshadows. Guys, you know what's going to be the hard one for me is blushes because I love blushes so that's gonna be the hardest thing for me to declutter and next is going to be single eyeshadows and then after that let me know in the comments what you guys want to see and i will talk to you soon bye